Hey guys, here at osmvtxreviews.com. You take a video, a first video look at the image box. Um, this is a very brief video uh, first look because we haven't actually really gotten this in the test to actually play around with it yet. But uh, we just received this in the mail, and we're pretty excited to you know get going and create more videos in the future and write a few reviews for this product. Now, what it is is it's basically a scanner, but it's a very fancy scanner, and it's optimized for your slides. It's optimized for your film strips and negative strips. So if you're I'm, you're taking images with your camera perhaps a one-time use camera or older cameras that actually utilize film, you would take the films and uh, you would slide it through this little slot on the side and you would drag it across using a polar. And as a result, the device will scan your photos and automatically, you know, put it into a digital format on your computers to preserve and to, uh, you know, blow them up into a high resolution copy that you can print out and, you know, email to your friends more easier. And again, it's just a great way of preserving content because you can digitize your stuff and you don't have to worry about your film negatives you know ever getting damaged or destroyed because you'll have a digital copy on your computer at all times and again it just makes it more compelling if you have an image box it makes it more compelling to get a older film camera because then you can have the best of both worlds in terms of films and a digital copy in terms of design, the image box is one of the largest, larger image and film scanners out on the market. Uh, we've seen a lot of smaller designs that were a lot more portable, but this thing is huge. They call it a box because it actually is a giant box. It's as large as a regular uh, size three ring binder and it's as you know thicker than one. It's like a giant cube and it weighs quite a lot as well. Um, the image box will also be priced at around $100, and that includes free shipping. You can get it at Red Aid, at pharmacies, also at uh, electronic retailers, and also online at Amazon.com. And so it's going to be available at a lot of locations. Taking a closer look at the design of the, of the device, you can see that the body is basically made entirely out of the soft touch rubber material and coating. So it feels pretty good in terms of grip. So you won't be able to be you won't be be able to accidentally drop this thing or something like that. The front piece though is made out of plastic and it can scratch quite easily, which is unfortunate. You can see the logo of the image box, and once you're connected to via USB to your computer, it supports both Mac and PC, you'll be, you'll be able to see uh, the photo, some LED indicators that tell you if your photo is you know, being scanned or if you're scanning a film in a slide. In order to scan your photo, which is a printed photo directly, you use the top slot up here, which is very large. In order to print you know, the film in the slides, you use the side slot like I talked about a few minutes ago. And again, to slide those things, you just press the giant slide key, which is tactile and very responsive and easy to, to press. Taking a look on the sides, on the right hand side of the device, you have access again to that back side where the film and slide will be taken out of. You also have access to the full size USB port, which will be used to connect and to power the device on a PC. On the back, you just have more information about this device. It's made in Taiwan. And on the other side, you have where you basically will pull out the slide by this little tab, little door, and you will just pull it out. And as far as the image uh, for the photos go, you basically again scan it on the top slot here. Uh, it seems like it does have a restraint as far as how large the image can be. It's not going to be able to take something as large as a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, but it's fairly large, so most of your images will be able to be scanned onto your computer easily. And you can see that it would just go in that slot and then be taken out when you are ready to take them out. And the bottom is plain. It looks like it's stackable, so you can probably stack this on something and uh, uh, you know save space because this is quite a large device once again. So a very interesting product. We're going to review and see if, again, it's going to be worth it or not because, again, a scanner can probably accomplish uh, some of the tasks, if not all of the ones that this device is setting out to do. For example, again, scanning your regular size photos could probably be accomplished better with a scanner. But for the films and the negative films and the slides, that might be more interesting and more spe specified on this product. But for now, $100, again, it's on the pricier side of things, and we're hoping that this device will be a little bit more cheaper by the time the holidays come around uh, in about you know six months. So we are looking forward to this product, and hopefully uh, we will get a review out in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching here at osmbtxreviews.com. Just a first look at the ImageBox Photo Scanner.